Hey guys, welcome to Hanging with the Shemmies today. Can't wait to get started on this one. I love it. It's my go-to. It's my go-to. It's uh, surf and turf shemmy style wraps. I'll tell you what, we're going to put a heck of a good twist on it. Hell of a good twist. We've got some ribeye steak here as you can see. Some other cut up steak there just for building material. We've got some shrimp. We've got some uh, fancy fixings. If you want to have a look at this beautiful butter we have here, rocking and rolling, simmering, ready to go on the steaks. Into there, into here. Let's do this, guys. I can't wait. So load your limbo stick. Grab your uh, saddle and uh, bring a bottle if you got it. Let's do this. Yeah, let's go. You live? Oh, right on. Here we are, folks. Like I said, we're doing surf and turf wraps here with the Shemmies. I was just admiring these ribeye steak. They just look fantastic. I just love them. We're uh, doing these awesome surf and turf wraps today. I'll tell you what, it's one of my favorites. It's one of my go-tos. It really is. Uh, I got three styles of wrap we're going we're gonna to do for you. I'm going to show you how I do them, which is going to be great. These here have been idling for about 15 minutes on the counter. They're going to head to the queue. This is hitting the cast iron with the shrimp. And uh, it's going to hit the queue as well, which is good. And I'm going to show you guys how we do the chamois style surfing turf wraps. It's going to be fantastic. You're going to love it. I'm going to love it. We're all going to love it. So, yeah, that being said, let's do this. Here we are, guys. Just before we head out to the queue, I just wanted to kind of show you what I do. I take a little bit of steak seasoning here as you can see and I just rub it both sides nice pat it in there good like that now this going to the queue we're going to bring it off we're going to let it rest and uh, as soon as it's, I feel that it's rested long enough I'm going to hit it with a butter bath you're going to love it it's going to be fantastic so let's do it so here we are guys we're back real quick I got the cast iron here warming up heating up and doing its thing um, I'm going to throw the shrimp and this steak this steak here in there and then it's going to go to the queue so it's going to be fantastic we're going to get that queue flavor going I love that I'll tell you what, that's aromatherapy at its best. I'll be right back, folks. These are going to the queue, so they'll be back. Just hang tough. I'm going to show you a little clip here when they get uh, get sweating a little bit on the queue. I'll be right back. Johnny, keep that rolling. Oh, it's windy. Okay, I'll be right back. Windy day, and I don't care. Okay, now, that's doing its thing out there, guys. This is heating up here, as you can see. Nice close-up of that, John. Just look at, we got some onion flakes in there garlic uh, a little bit of salt and pepper already in there ready to go uh, the steak's going to go in I just want to build it up what I'm doing here is I'm just going to give that steak a quick sear uh, sear it up a little bit give it just a little bit of uh, color and some bites and caramelization I like to call that if that's the right word I don't know we're unscripted and then it's going to go to the queue for some extra flavoring and uh, we're going to get a photo shoot with the ribeye and the shrimp and everything all together so you're going to have to join us for that as you can see here it's just heating up enough Sear the juices into this wonderful steak. My goodness, it smells good. Oh, doesn't it smell good in here? Wow. Like if you walk through the door. I remember being a kid back in the day and you'd come home and even liver and onions smelled good. It's mm -hmm. just fantastic. So in this goes, you guys, pretty warm. Like I said, give it a little sear in there. Turn that and stir that a little bit. Let that get a little bit of a head start before the shrimp goes in. And uh, these wraps, I'll tell you, they're going to be just absolutely fantastic. So we're just, hey folks, oh, doesn't it smell good in here, Brookie? Yes. I know, that's what I love. I love the family coming in saying, Dad, you're just, you know what? You're just the greatest cook. <laughs> it smells so good in here. It's just fantastic. Uh, and the kids come in, they love it. They're, you know, they're going to Nuttyville, Alabama. They know they're going to get some surf and turf wraps and they're happy. So that makes me happy. I love to see everybody happy. So I'm a happy guy. You know that. I know that. We all know that. So it's fantastic. The rib buyer doing good. I'm just going to go check. Johnny, if you want to just give them a little look, see there, see how everything's processing. I'll be right back. Adding the shrimp to this beautiful steak. <clears throat> it's going to go out to the barbecue, so get your dancing shoes on. We're going to head out to the queue and finish this off. As you can see, that cast iron is crisping up that steak just beautifully. It gives it a nice crispy kind of a outer layer on that steak. Goes really good with the shrimp and just fantastic in a surf and turf wrap. There's the surf right there, you guys. Look at that. Even the steak's reaching for its swimming trunks. Want to head to the surf. Let's go. Okay, so here we are guys. As you can see, we got the ribeye doing its thing. What I do now is I just add a little bit extra spice to that shrimp and that steak there right off the ribeye. A little extra grease in there, just fantastic. As you can see, it's really starting to do its thing. And then uh, we're gonna get it ready for the wraps. I'll tell you, that's gonna be so good, I can't wait. We're in the corners today. It's just uh, one of them things where, now I just slide this in. Remember what I told you guys before, don't grab that handle. Howdy there neighbor, how's it going? Oh, it smells good, doesn't it? You got your nose in the air like an old bloodhound. <laughs> right on. We'll catch up with you later. You bet. Trixie! Trixie! 
I got a little shout out to do here while I'm cooking. I just want to take a second. I love my dogs. They're just my, my buddies. And today our little uh, Applehead Chihuahua, Trixie, is turned two today, so it's her birthday. Now, uh, I just gotta find Trixie. She's usually hanging around. She's one of the growly bandits. She's usually hanging around the table or around the counters. Trixie! Trixie? Here's How the hell is she doing? She's coming. Trixie! Well, there you are. Come here, Trixie. Come on. Come on, I got a little birthday something for you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna make a laundry there. Probably get my butt crack on the counter. Here we go. <laughs> Here's Trixie. Happy birthday, everybody. It's Trixie's birthday. <laughs> so that being said, I usually don't bring the dogs around the food. Happy birthday, Trixie. Oh, you don't want that? Oh, you don't want to eat on camera, that's what it is. I'll put it down here and she'll eat. Here you go. <laughs> like I said, happy birthday, Trix. Love ya. Okay, while we're here, salsa. Remember I said sour cream? With the taco seasoning, that's going to go on one of the wraps. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's getting ready for the wraps while the barbecue's finishing the job. I better not do that, eh? Here's the Shemi special sauce. We got some stone ground grainy mustard, mayo, and our favorite barbecue sauce. Just have a look. We just do this here. Now that's going to be one of the toppings. Kids love it. I love it. Just fantastic. Just uh, really makes that uh, surf and turf wrap pop. It's just, in fact, that's just his nickname as I call it pop. So there we are, ready to go. I'm gonna be back here shortly, folks. I'm just gonna go check on uh, the fixings on the barbecue for you. Be back. Those are just like processing so nice. I overcooked them a little bit for you because I know you like them well done. Okay, now. Let's not fool around, folks. I'm coming back in. I just need another net. Eat that will do. Ah, mother. You get the, you didn't get that. Here we are, guys. Okay, I'm gonna set that on that warm burner. It's barely warm, but it's just gonna keep that warm. Now, remember what I told you guys, my rule, about the cast iron pan? Never touch it. Oh, I should have got the oven met. Yeah, that, Ooh, that hurt. Okay, I'm gonna have to, well, I'm gonna play through the pain, boys. I'm gonna play through the pain. Okay, here we go. Now, ribeye, ribeye, as you can see. Now, what I do, folks, depending on the size, roast, you know, it's usually uh, 10 minutes a pound or whatever if you've got a roast. With a steak like this, I'll can give that probably seven to 10, five, 10 minutes. Just to let, you know, it re, you know, it just takes everything and re, the meat just re-tenderizes and rejuices itself. Uh, don't cut into it right away. That's basically what I'm saying there. Um, I don't know the ins and outs because I'm unscripted on it, but I know it sure makes a better steak. These are a little well done. Oh, this is amazing, you guys. This is sat for about 10 minutes. You can throw a little tin foil over it too, but uh, it's, I'll tell you, I do that sometimes. Usually with the bigger roasts and stuff, I will, but uh, this here, we're gonna eat it at room temp anyways. It is surf and turf. You're at the beach and you're doing your thing. And I'll tell you what, look at this. Oh. Really? That butter, chives, garlic, barbecue. Mm. Oh, man. You're going in in third period. You're tied 1-1, one, one. there's about a minute left. You come out of the corner. You just won the game with that, I'll tell you what. It's that good. Perfect. Take a few of these. Some of our beautiful ribeye, as you can see. Oh, close up that, please. Look at that. that looks great. Fantastic. Oh, bring in the bring in the surf. Look at this. There, look at, look at, look at. Oh, oh that's the best part right there. Hmm. So, this one is my nacho surf and turf. Now I just break the chips up just to make the wrap a little bit better. As you can see, it's absolutely fantastic. And then what I do next here, guys, is I take a little sour cream, just like so. You can use a fork and knife with this too. Don't, you don't have to overthink it, do whatever you're gonna do with it. I put a little cheese on there, just like that. It's gonna melt up and do its thing. What I do now is I stick this in the microwave 
just long enough to give it a quick zap, melt the cheese, warm that salsa a little bit, that sour cream and everything like that. It just makes it a little bit runnier and uh, makes it run a little bit and get in there. So that's what we're gonna do with that one. Number one, done. Perfect. Shemmy's Twist, Nacho Surf and Turf Wrap. Right there, I'll tell you what. Now you can add whatever you want to that. You can add some coleslaw, you can add some cayenne pepper, you can add some jalapeno, some green onion, black olives. Shemmy's, you know, unscripted. Whatever you like, you do it. Don't have it any other way. You we have coleslaw. Now we use a poppy seed dressing because that's the way we like it. So what I do with that, folks, is I just mix that in. Now what I've done here is I've added a couple of little shots of chipotle in there and some black pepper and a little bit of sugar just to sweeten it up and make that shrimp and steak. It just brings out and it gets the pop going. So that's perfect. A little sweetness in there. Just absolutely fantastic, as you can see. Okay, so that's stirred up and ready to go. Now, I'm gonna kick these right off because we don't fool around. There we go, just like so. Now, perfect, oh, this is perfect. So we got the ribeye happening. Come on here, you guys, let's go. Get the shrimp in there, as you can see. A couple extra little sprigs of steak. Now this one, this is for Chloe, cooking with Chloe. Mm, that's deadly. Okay, now what she likes, is our beautiful, beautiful coleslaw. Which is what we use poppy seed dressing because that's the way we like it. But you can you can use anything, ranch, whatever you like. There we go, just like that. And then we are gonna bring in our barbecue shemmy twist mayo with uh, oh look at you can just see the the grainy mustard in there looking back at you. I think that one there just winked. That's perfect. So we'll just put a little bit of that in there for some flavoring. Just give it a little bit. Oh yeah, just just makes this it makes this wrap dance this surf and turf. There, Chloe, you're up, sweetheart. Wow, doesn't that look good? Looks great. Perfect. Number two down. Now, if you bear with me for one second here, I just got to make a make a break for an extra plate. Oh, oh my favorite time's coming. This taste test. I'm gonna let the kids do it. Okay, okay, Chloe, how is that now? Good. Oh, it's really good. Awesome. I gotta make uh, Brooklyn's here real quick. Try and get the camera on this, please. <laughs> As you can see, you guys, just beautifully cooked for the kids. They like it well done. Where I kind of like mine kicking, so uh, when I do it, I, I do it mine uh, usually rare, medium, kind of rare. But anyhow, put that there. Here's another trick, you guys. Get a little extra flavor wow. in there. Butter, butter. Yes, yes, put that in there just like that. Isn't that fantastic? Now, here's the trick. My good friend James, like I mentioned earlier, taught me. I think he got it off a street cart in LA or something. Now there's butter in there. I use that little extra garlic and butter just to lube that up. Let it soak in its own. Uh, th this is boof. That's French for beef. Le boof. The beef. Uh, flavored ramen noodles, because we are doing, of course, barbecued steak, surf and turf wraps. Absolutely. You know it. I know it. We all know it. Shami, what's your favorite? Dad's mayo? Um, uh, barbecue mayo sauce. Awesome. That's all. Oh. Who's the best cook around? Yeah. Oh, okay, good, good. I guess I'll have your check here. We deposited you bank account here later on. Um, perfect, that's Shemmy. Now, she loves it with the ramen noodles, and that's just, you can put cheese in there, you can do whatever, but that's the way she likes it. So that's the way we do it. Now, some of you are probably thinking, oh, ramen noodles in there? Don't knock it's it till you so try good. it. It is so good, isn't it, Shem? So there we have it, folks. We have our three Beautiful wraps. This one still needs to go and idle a little bit in the microwave just to melt that cheese down. And we have here our coleslaw special with our favorite barbecue mayo and grainy mustard uh, concoction, of course. <laughs> so just have a good look there again. Got it? And I'm just gonna tell you guys something. Oh, that shrimp, you guys. It's delicious. That's so, so deadly, I don't even know. Oh, can I have a oh sure you can. Hi, Shemmy. Right on. Good to see you in here. Knuckle Sangi. Let's go. Okay, come join the taste test, guys. See you in a couple seconds. Love you. <laughs> the best segment of the show, guys. It's my taste testing and uh, plating and doing all that fun stuff. I love eating these things, and you guys do too. I know you do. <laughs> hey, okay? so Knuckle Sangi. So let's go. Let's go. High five. Let's go. Bye. Perfect. So I'm doing the nacho today. I'm going to give that one a whirl because I do like it. You guys usually have that too. And uh, you got your ramen noodles with yeah. shrimp and ribeye steak. You got the coleslaw special. <laughs> the slaw special, I'll tell you what. So let's try these, girls. 
Oh, man, I so wish I just had all of you guys here with us right now. You guys know that and I know that. I just fold that up. It's going to be messy and we got no napkins. Just the way I like it. Wow. Mm. Out of the park, eh? Mm. Yeah, Taste that shrimp with the steak. Oh, mm. Surf and turf. Wow. Sour cream with the taco seasoning. Oh, it just screams nachos. So awesome. You like the sweet it's ring, so don't you? Good. That coleslaw with the sweet ring. Just absolutely marries the steak and the shrimp. It's just perfect. The surf and turf, I'll tell you. You guys love the chamois? Give my YouTube channel for me, please, Coco Sham. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have another bite. <laughs> mm. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and tune back in for more videos. Mm. Bye guys. Bye guys, love ya.